Hello, hello, Larry. Patrick from uh, What's On TV. Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah. What a, what a fantastic part you have been playing. I know, I know. What a gift. I was just talking to the guy that made, you know, that actually created the part, Simon Ashdown, who's the sort of the head of the writing team. And you know, we had this long conversation at the beginning, where they were sort of sussing me out as a person. You know, they sort of know you as an actor, is why you get the job. And then they started to put the person together, and we, were, we had these very deep philosophical talks about life, art, and family, and everything else. Yeah. And then about six weeks later, I got this script, and I phoned him up and said, "God, this is nothing like it. This guy's a really nasty, nasty person." He said, "Yep." <laughs> and I said, "But surely you can't be that nasty." And he said, "Yep, afraid so." And I thought, "Okay." Shut up, join up the dots, and get on with it, you know? And that was it. So it's all down to that that character being designed, and uh, and that was the luck of it. Well, they obviously saw in you that you could carry it off. Yeah, because I think they see the dark side of me, you know? But it is, it's a, it's a great role, wonderful role. Yeah. Well, Perry Fennick was saying earlier that, um, you, know, um, you know, you're a genial bloke, and you're much more like your Kevin and Stacey character. Yeah, I think I am. That's that's that side of me. You know, that devious dark side is something I kind of left a long time ago. And the Mick, the Mick character in Gavin and Stacey is it's sort of much more me in reality, you know? That's it. That is the thing. And how do you go between the two? Because, you know, you've got the ideal dad and the dad from hell. Yeah, well, I think, I think, I think if I, 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 I have become... As I've matured and I've mellowed, I've become more like that Mick character. And what I've left behind is what I was, you know, that bitter, twisted, dark character that I that I was as a result of my life. So you sort of, if the script, the script is if the script is set right for you, it's not too difficult to drop back into that character. You know, it's all in the writing. You know. Well, I'm interested because you're playing such two big characters. How does the public react to you? The public, the, the, that's what's been interesting for me because you begin to think, well, how, you know, are they going to be able to deal with this? And I think the thing is, the television audience has become so sophisticated now. In the old days, that didn't happen. Now, they are prepared to deal with the same person playing different roles. You, you kind of got to work on keeping them different because basically, you know, you've got two working class guys from the London area, both about the same age, and both of them looking vaguely like me. So what you've got to do is keep on, keep on telling yourself, right, this is Mick, and this is Archie, and, and don't start, you know, try to keep the mannerisms, try to keep the way they do things and the way they speak as different as you can. So you kind of have to remind yourself all the time. And, and fortunately, at, when we did the Christmas special last year for Gavin and Stacey, it was back to back with all the Christmas stuff for EastEnders. That was a bit of a difficult thing, because you really did have to remind yourself, you know? However, normally what happens is months, months apart, so you're set in playing one and then you go and do the other. Yeah. Are we going to do, when we're going to do the Gavin and Stacey series that we're, that's due this year, that's going to be back to back again. When does that start filming? We're June and July. Right. Are you so looking forward to it? Weeks that. Yeah, 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 I am, yeah. And that will be right alongside this, with Archie being back in this and, and then, yeah, so busy time. Good Larry, bad Larry. Yeah, you got it, okay. yeah. Well, have yeah. a great night. Nice Lovely. to meet you. Thanks very much. Lovely yeah. to meet you. All the best to you. Bye-bye.